Hello everyone. Welcome back. Dawn here with Amethyst Moon Studios. Preparing to do another straight pour. I've really been digging these. <laughs> so I'm just kind of on a streak and I'm just rolling with it. So I've already got my background color laid down. It is the Artist Loft Flow Acrylic in black. But I also added some of the Deco Art Americana Decor Metallics in Obsidian just to give it some shimmer. Then this color here is the Deco Art Americana Decor Metallics in 24K Gold. Everybody loves that color. This is the Deco Art Extreme Sheen in Coral. This is also the Deco Art Extreme Sheen in ruby and then this one is actually um drippings from my last pour which had like maroon a maroon color or a burgundy color and it had a lot of garnet the americana decor metallics in garnet it had a lot of that in there um so i'm just reusing it it's up all my paints okay um, so I already have some of the background color in the bottom of this cup, just a little bit, and then I'm going to come in high. I'm just going to go like kind of colors of, um, like a bright fire, I guess. It's not going to be like a deep, dark, fiery color, but, um, it just the yellow, the orange, the red, that dark of burgundy color so we're just trying that i'm going to come in up high and hope that those paints are mixing in there coming in up high helps those paints blend so get that scraped out okay And this pretty coral color. I'm going to come in from up high. Use all that up. Now I have extra, I have more of the burgundy than I have of any other color. So I'm just going to real quick pop a little bit of that in now. And then I'm hoping what it'll do is darken up this red a little bit. Come in. Layer that in. Okay. Finish that off. And now finish off this sort of burgundy color. So Real quick, I'm going to show you guys, because I keep talking about how when you're blending, when you're pouring into the cup from up high and making those colors blend in the cup, those paints are churning in there, causing air bubbles. So I wanted to show you guys if you can see, yeah, if you can see those air bubbles in there. I'm not tilt too much but you can see all those air bubbles in there so just an FYI now I am gonna come in and add a little bit of this background color I'm not coming in from up high on that just 
down low. I don't want that to blend. I just want it to be the first thing out of the cup. So, okay. Um, I'm going to come in from, I don't want to be too close, but I don't want to be too high either. So, come in right in the middle. Start my pour. All right, coral and gold. Here comes that background color. It's got a lot of gold playing in it. It's cool. start coming in closer and doing little jiggles Tapered off. Eventually, there we go. Okay. Wow. It's very bright. Okay. That coral, I'm noticing, really likes to take over, but I think oranges tend to do that. So. All right. Well, not oranges. Orange paints tend to do that. I'm a little on level here. So I'm just going to bring that back a little bit. Okay. I really love, really love this. But I've been having a lot of luck stretching that stretching this out um and opening up that blending so i think we'll try that yeah yeah let's try that get my corner catcher actually need to wipe it off Paint on there from my last four. Okay. Enough of that. All right. So since my paint's down here anyway, since I'm all not leveled, we'll come catch this corner first. It's kind of rolling over itself. Get that back to center. Okay. Right. Now, bring everything back to center again, and come hit this corner. Yeah, you see how my paint's rolling over itself? That means that my base coat uh, was too thick. So we'll see what happens. Just bringing that paint back to center. Come back, turn this around so you can see. Center that a little bit more. Come 
and get this corner. Okay. Actually, I think I might take a little more of that off. So my corners kind of match a little bit. Move my paint back to center again. And probably take a little bit of this off. Just a little bit. I'm centered. Okay. I got some paper towel and wipe my hands off here. All right. Next step is to give it a torch. I have a lot of paint on my hands. I need another paper towel. So that ruby, I'm not seeing a lot of that ruby. But it probably did blend with that burgundy color. You can see hints of it. It, it probably did blend with that burgundy, but that gold, that 24K, really standing out. Not seeing a lot of the coral either. It could have gotten lost. Now that it's all stretched out, it could have gotten lost in between the yellow and the red. So hang on, let me give her a torch and see what we see here. Okay, so like on my other last couple of paintings, I have some of those pearl cells popping up in this area. You can probably see some of them developing. So I am really digging this one, even though I didn't get as much of that fiery kind of effect I was hoping for. Um, I still love it. I still love it. These are almost coming out to look like hearts in the center somehow. Um, so that's really cool. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I do have like some pearl kind of cells popping up down here too. I really am tempted, even though I've got these pearl cells coming up here, I really am tempted to stretch some of this back out. Let me see what I can do here. Because I do love what's going on down here. Hmm. Not sure I love the cells in it, but 
I don't know. I'm going to have to sit on this one for a little bit. <clears throat> As usual with these, it does take some time for those pearl cells to develop. So I will pause the video and get back with you guys here in a little bit. Hold tight. Okay, so it's been about half an hour and I'm not seeing really any new development. So I'm going to bring you in for your close up. Hang on. Okay, so coming in for the close up. This might actually be my favorite part down here. This burgundy color, this garnet. It had some ruby cells pop through that look really cool, but that ruby is darkened up um, by that garnet color. So yeah, this might actually be my favorite part down here, and you can see it threading and veining into the center there. It's really cool. Love, love, love the striping here. Went along this edge and into the center where that garnet, you can see the ruby really well right there, but it's hard to make the distinction over here. You can see that actually the lighter color is the ruby. So you can a little bit make the distinction, but it, it really, it really was picky about where it was going to show up. <laughs> and then I did actually tip tilt some of this off. So I did get some funky lines over here, but I'm okay with that. I'm okay with funky, not too funky, but yeah. So then, yeah, these little tendrils here whatever look really cool so the gold did take over a lot and it's hard you can barely my phone is having a hard time but you can barely pick up some of the coral in this veining here but these cells that popped up these little pearl cells are super cool multicolored Really awesome looking. I love them. I do love these pearl cells, especially when they're multicolored. I think those are my favorite. Absolutely. So let me give you guys. I always like going in from this angle. Let's see if I can get it better. That way you get a full scope of the painting. Coming up. Love all the striping. Cool center. Almost looks like a heart. These little tendrils reaching up towards those cells. I love it. What do you guys think? If you like what I'm doing, I hope you'll like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you're informed every time I upload something new. As always, you guys, thanks so much for spending your time with me. I really do appreciate it. Have a great one. Bye-bye.